What's up YouTube fragrance family and friends out there? I'm Tommy with Studio Sense and welcome to another new release video preview or first impressions we'll call it of a brand new release by Carolina Herrera or CH has released a bad boy fragrance called Bad Boy Le Parfum. So when we return, I'm gonna empty this entire sample vial on me. We're gonna try it out, see if it's worth picking up or passing up that and more. So stay tuned. Hey guys, and welcome back. So it wasn't that long ago that Carolina Herrera released Bad Boy, the lightning bolt presentation fragrance. It's a very solid performing fragrance. I actually enjoy Bad Boy. So I wasn't really surprised to hear that there was gonna be a parfum version, yet this particular iteration is dedicated to the note of leather. Now obviously I don't have Bad Boy Le Parfum, the bottle, but that's what this video is about. Whether or not I am going to pull the trigger to get the Le Parfum bottle. Bad Boy, the Eau de Toilette is a very nice masculine peppery fragrance for men and it performs really well. I really like leather based fragrances. So when I heard it was going to be leather oriented primarily, that was its focus. I was interested to try it out. When Macy's sent me Yves Saint Laurent Y Le Parfum, they also sent me a sample of bad boy le parfum the difference in the presentation between the two bottles i will show you these are actually some of the posters which are pretty cool but they say lightning doesn't strike twice well with bad boy it does and that's pretty cheesy but they missed out on a really good tagline i think that would have been cool at any rate this is gold and as you can see by the poster this is just black you know, it's the difference between the two. The lightning bolt is the same. The C inside of the H bisecting the line of the H is exactly the same. If you have Bad Boy, the Eau de Toilette, you know what Bad Boy, the Le Parfum is going to look like. Let's talk a little bit about that note breakdown. One thing that I found interesting is on the Carolina Herrera website, which I did link in the description below, there is a kind of a discrepancy, we'll say, because it features in the heart a sage note, which is actually in Bad Boy Eau de Toilette, but everywhere else you look, it won't feature a sage note. It's just black pepper and another note in the heart, so there is no sage. However, for the sake of completionism, because I'm a completionist, I'm gonna go ahead and include a seventh note that is sage, simply because they say it's in it on the website. And it may be in there, it may just not be a published note. When you see it, that's why it's there. Carolina Herrera Bad Boy Le Parfum features top notes of grapefruit and hemp, with heart notes of black pepper, sage, and geranium resting on a base of leather and vetiver. A relatively simplistic formula. You've got grapefruit, some citrus in the top there, and an interesting note, cannabis and cannabis oil, CBD oil, hemp, there's lots of names for it, is almost a universal kind of green. Well, it's actually literally green if you looked, if you ever see the oil um, or see it up in powder form in whatever form it comes in it's a note that you immediately recognize when you when you smell it i for one don't mind the smell of of hemp nor do i really intrinsically love it it's one of those notes that i'm just kind of eh. like i prefer a nice green grassy note over a hemp note you got bruno jovanovic fanny Bal, and nicholas baliou those are the three noses or perfumers that were involved in the creation of bad boy le parfum it's in the olfactive family of aromatic and it is a leather-based fragrance I'll show you the inside of the sample there. This is typically what a sample looks like. It's almost like a bag of chips that you open up and there's just a little bit on the bottom. Some settling may occur, some evaporating may occur when it comes to samples. Good bit there. Okay, so first of all, I like that open. I dig that open. I really like the open of this. So based on this open alone, I would probably pull the trigger and buy the full bottle, but I'm gonna go ahead and let it dry off a little bit. I don't wanna be too reactionary because I've done that before and regretted it. So I'm gonna let it dry down a little bit and see kind of where that hemp goes and kind of where the leather comes from. It almost adds a little bit of weight to this fragrance, but it also adds kind of a nice retro feel to it. 
I don't know if you were alive in the 70s or if you remember the 70s, maybe you're an aficionado of the 70s or 70s music. A lot of people had beads dangling from their doorway. You'd walk through the beads to go into the next room. And that's kind of what this reminds me of a little bit. I'm not saying my parents were hippies, but I'm not saying they weren't either. And this is a lighter, sweeter cannabis. Okay, so enough of the tester strip. I'm done with that. Let's try it on skin. I'm gonna try it on both hands here. Wow. It's just really aromatic and nice. It, of course, it is in the olfactive family of aromatic. This has an interesting body to it. It's got an interesting characteristic or body to it that's relative to the cannabis. I'll be honest, I really don't wanna spray all this on myself. I really don't wanna empty this vial on me, and I'll tell you why. Because I'm not super keen about this particular fragrance. It's just okay. Now, if I were gangbusters about it, I would spray it all over me and I would wear it for the rest of the day, but I'm just not super keen on it. Like, I'll wear it some more, but... Because I don't like making snap judgments about fragrance, but normally, if you let them dry down for 10, 15 minutes, you pretty much know where it's going, unless it, some strange chemical transition happens during that period, but after 15 minutes, but that's normally not the case. So there is something very appealing about the open to this. So you got sage, geranium, black pepper. Actually, the combination of vetiver and hemp is a really good combination because you've got dry and you've got a little bit dank, which is dark, which tends to be a little bit heavier than the lighter vetiver. So they kind of balance each other out pretty well. So the fragrance itself is pretty well balanced but there's just something about it in terms of the leather because leather is actually in the base of this, but you don't get it in the open. And I don't necessarily get leather in the heart. It's only when it starts really drying down that I, that I really get that leather. The hemp is a little dirty feeling and leather has a resinous, slightly resinous and lightly dirty feel to it. This is kind of like a midline, I won't say a black leather, but it's a darker leather. For any of you guys out there that are leather aficionados, we'll call this a medium leather and just Leave it at that. So it's not supremely noticeable in the open that this is hemp that you're smelling. As it starts to dry off a little bit, that hemp reveals itself just like most things. It becomes a little bit more itself, characteristically in terms of its chemical composition. I actually enjoy the open and the heart of this fragrance, but in the dry down, it kind of loses me a little bit. Um, I feel like there's something, there's a little bit more leather that could be exposed like if this I, I don't mind that this is a medium grade of leather i just i want more of it it's almost like you're just starting to give me something you know it's just it's almost like a book that just starts to get good and you finish it and you're like what that's the ending or a movie that has all this exposition in it and finally you get to the action and the movie ends and you're like what seriously <laughs> i can't get back those that hour and a half of my life it's kind of like that a little bit where it promises more than it actually gives you having said that it's it's pleasant it, it's pleasant to smell and I, and I like that that's actually what a promise is it's something that you want more of or you you know you want to see come to fruition but it doesn't really, it's almost like an incomplete fragrance to me, although it's enjoyable. I feel like this is the promise. I feel like it has potential, but it's not the full Monty, if that makes sense. Yeah, the more that it dries down on, on the litmus here, I'm just getting a little bit of hemp and a little bit of leather. It's definitely more viable on skin. It's definitely more enjoyable. I feel like if it was more canted on the leather side, then I would enjoy it more. But as is, it's, it's a little bit more hemp than leather not necessarily balanced out to me. In terms of when you would wear this, this is definitely gonna be a full-on casual fragrance. I can't see wearing this dressed up. It doesn't have a refinement feel to it. This is definitely not something you wanna rock out in high heat or in extreme cold. As long as you're not wearing it in extremes, you'll be just fine. In conclusion, I really enjoy the open. I enjoy the, the heart, but I feel like it's one of those fragrances that promises something but doesn't quite fulfill that promise, you know? It over-promises but under-delivers. It's one of those fragrances that I feel like does that. Try a sample. It might be your next best signature scent. You never know. I actually enjoy the Eau de Toilette better. Even though I do like a little bit of the leather in here. Again, it's not enough. It's not enough leather for me. I just, I, I need more leather. Need more leather. The hemp is okay. The hemp is just like a dirty green. You know, it's just like a dirty vetiver with a little bit of dankness in it. A little bit of earthiness. Uh, but even then, it, I feel like even the hemp could be a little bit more earthy, a little bit darker, a little bit richer even. Well guys, that's it for my first impression of Carolina Herrera's Bad Boy Le Parfum. If you've got any experience with this fragrance, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. I definitely want to hear your thoughts. Heck, who knows, maybe I'll pull the trigger and buy the bottle and then I can do a full-on review. In the meantime, thanks so much for stopping by and checking out today's video. As always, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.